Hello, my name is Amy Brisgell and I am Senior Lecturer in film, at film and Visual Culture at the University of Aberdeen and I am currently the coordinator of the MLIT in Film, Visual Culture and Arts Management. So we thought I'd talk you through the program a little bit today and also give you an example of some of the types of things that we study uh, on this program. So what is an MLIT in Film, Visual Culture and Arts Management? There's a lot of different components there. Um, the, the MLIT is a unique combination of both theory and practice. So we introduce you to a lot of the basic concepts of um, film and visual culture analysis, um, theory and methodology. And then after we give you those tools, we put you out into the field to apply them. Right here on the screen, you'll see some of our students um, using one of the methods that they learned about in uh, on the course, which is interviewing uh, living human subjects. And here they are interviewing Ian Hedge, a botanist, a retired botanist from the Royal Botanic Garden of Edinburgh. And this was part of one of the projects for, for the course. Um, so, so really the, the program provides both a theoretical and a practical foundation. It's not just reading theory in a vacuum, but it's actually going out and applying that theory to real life situations to give you the experience to either work in the field as a researcher, so to go on to further postgraduate study at the PhD level, or to work in the industry. So you have both options when you finish the program. Why choose this program? Well, I think it's this unique combination of theory and practice. Um, oftentimes you'll get a, a program that's very much a theoretical program where you're, you're, it's very research intensive, or you'll get something that's very practical focused. Um, and our program combines both, both, program, both uh, approaches. Um, this is a photograph by one of our students, um, Dorota pushkevitz novitska um, when she was out with the other two students that you see in, uh, in the photograph uh, at Devron Projects, one of our partners. They're located in Huntley, which is about an hour north of Aberdeen. And the students, the Emlet students this past year participated in a project with Devron. Um, they went out to the Arts Center, learned about what they did, did, do there, and then they ran their own event um, at, at the Arts Center. Um, so, so this is another example of that sort of real life experience. Um, another advantage of this program is that it, it offers you the opportunity to work in a range of different disciplines. So not only film and TV, but also visual culture in general, um, which, is, which is really a, a, a branch of art history, um, and also with colleagues in music. Um, because our school also contains other creative disciplines such as creative writing, um, English and literary studies, translation studies, and music. And we have both traditional classic music and sonic arts, which is our more contemporary um, area. And, and all, a lot of our students take these different courses. So on a, on a um, film and visual culture course, we might have students from music and they bring in a, you know, a different aspect to the program, different perspective, which is really, which can be really interesting. Um, so, so there's a lot of different uh, opportunities for you to create and develop new and interesting work um, while you're on this program. So practically speaking, what will you study? So in the first semester, the first half session, you'll take the research methods in film and visual culture. That's this theoretical course where we introduce you to these different approaches, uh, but it's not just theory, it's not just research um, in the traditional sense. There are a lot of different practical methods that you can use to approach um, a, a project in film and visual culture. So. We teach you about interviewing people and creating um, practice, practice led research, which is researching a, a subject or a topic and not just writing about it, but creating some visual component or some practical component, such as a film, a photo essay. Um, and so your assessment for that course will be to create a, um, to, sorry, to, to, to do um, a research project using one of those methods. So maybe you would go off and interview an artist and use the, those interviews as your primary source material for your essay, 
or maybe you would create a photo essay and the written component would be a contextualization of that essay. Public engagement for the arts is a really crucial course um, that is taught by individuals across the university and also outside of the university. And it introduces you to the types of things that you'll do if you if you end up working in the industry and even if you work if you end up being an academic. Um, so it's all about how to, how to present your research, which is often very niche and very specific to a wider audience and how to get people to engage with that. And we'll talk about that a little bit when we talk about uh, the, the Devon Projects Art Center that we worked with this past year. So that's your first semester. Second semester is a projects course, Projects in Film and Visual Culture. Um, and that's where we'll be working with a local uh, partner organization. Um, it, two years ago, it was with the Royal Botanic Garden of Edinburgh. Last year, it was Devon Projects. This coming year, it will also be with Devon Projects. Um, and so the idea is that you go on several site visits, you get to know and understand the, the venue, and then you work with them to develop your own project and your own portfolio of work as part of your assessment for the course. And I'm gonna show you some examples of that um, in a little bit. And then there's your work-based placement course, and that's where you get the opportunity to really work independently in the, in the field. Um, in the past, students have worked at um, Crow House Films, which is a startup film company in Aberdeen, Turn TV, which is a, a local uh, television channel here in Aberdeen, you may know them as those the, the producers of Beach Grove Gardens. You might also have heard of Songs of Praise, the, the director of Turn TV, who's actually a graduate of the University of Aberdeen, David Strachan. Um, he, uh, he was the, the person behind Songs of Praise. Um, so, and, and they, they're keen to work with our students, um, not only to offer them uh, a ch an opportunity to, to work um, in, the, in the field, but really to mentor students and to, to talk to them about career development and how to, uh, what to do when you're on, on, on the job market and things like that. Another student also did a work-based placement with a um, design agency in town, and that student actually did a work-based placement for her dissertation. So her entire dissertation research was on this internship. And what she did was she explored their social media approach and she compared that with the social media approach of other agencies across the UK. And she came up with sort of a, um, a report, a recommendation for the company about how they could better manage their so social media platforms. And it was all based on research and how social media works as an advertising platform. And it was an excellent dissertation, merited first class mark. Um, so it just goes to show that even though these are practical projects, they still involve a high degree, high level of research and um, intellectual exercise. So the last part of your degree is the dissertation, which you'll work on over the summer. Our students are uh, working hard on theirs right now. Um, you have a number of different options for the dissertation as well. You can do a work-based placement, as I said this one student did. Um, you could also um, do a practice-led project. So one of the students this year is doing a project also related to social media and the selfie, but she's a photographer. You actually saw her photograph uh, a few slides back. Um, and so she's looking at the selfie and the culture of the selfie and, and creating a photo essay um, as part of the project. And then so the written component will be slightly shorter because there's this visual project uh, component. But you can also write a so-called traditional dissertation, which is entirely research and text-based um, involving visual analysis and different methods. And you work on that over the summer and the due date is usually in August and then you, you are finished and you graduate in November. So it's a nice neat one year program. And then you have this uh, qualification um, which will enable you to either go on to further postgraduate study at, at the PhD level, which we offer here at Aberdeen as, as well as elsewhere, um, or, or look for uh, work in the industry. And our career services at the University of, 
the University of Aberdeen is is fabulous. They are, um, you know, once you graduate from the university, um, you are part of the Aberdeen family and you have lifelong access to the Careers Center. They can help you um, look for jobs. They can do practice uh, interviews with you. They can look over your CV and your cover letter um, and really help you, you know, once you do finish your degree. So you're not left there um, on your own. And also, if you're looking into further PhD study, uh, the academic staff in the program can help uh, help you, you know, talk you through that process as well. Um, so what will you produce on the program? So let me show you an example of a a uh, project that was produced two years ago for the Royal Botanic Gardens of Edinburgh by the students. This was a film and interview with the botanist Ian Hedge that the students produced on their own after a series of visits to the Royal Botanic Garden of Edinburgh and a few meetings with Ian Hedge. So I'll just let you watch a little bit of that. Now you can also find it on YouTube. You can find it on the Royal Botanic Garden of Edinburgh's um, YouTube channel, but I'll just play a bit for, for you now. We're here today in the Temperate Glass House at the Royal Botanic Garden, Edinburgh, working on a project that was sparked by and then funded by the, Scot the Scottish Crucible. The title is Harvesting Collections for Social and Scientific Benefit, Hidden Stories at the Herbarium of RBGE. And the point is to take objects and histories and people in our collection and open them up to new and different kinds of uses. One of the ways we'll be doing that today is interviewing collector Ian Hedge about his experiences in Southwest Asia. This is a joint project between the Royal Botanic Garden Edinburgh, University of Glasgow, and University of Aberdeen. And we're using master's courses in both in the University of Glasgow and Aberdeen to draw out these experiences and to bring out the stories that are hidden in our collections. Peter Davis was a totally dedicated collector of everything. I mean, he was a major botanical collector, no question. Just before the war in 36, he traveled in Turkey, on a mountain in Turkey, and got fascinated with the flora there. But then he came up to Edinburgh to see the professor at that time, because he was thinking about going on an expedition to South America. So Professor Sir William Wright Smith, the professor at that time, was very taken with this young man and he persuaded him not to follow a career in horticulture but to do, to take a, to do a botany degree. So the war came along, Peter came back to Edinburgh after the war, did his degree here and was appointed as a lecturer in the university. And then in the late 50s, so I'll just interrupt that story um, and you can, you know, as a teaser, you can watch it later. But, um, you know, this is this is a, an important part of the degree. It's not about just what what will you learn? What will we teach you? What will we provide you with? But it's also what, about what you will produce in the process of um you know of working through the program it's it's a it's a creative process in which you're given the tools and then you learn about different ways of expressing and contextualizing the knowledge that you have so not just writing research essays but producing such as this um a film a photographic essay a video essay different things like that um so just to give you a little idea of a little flavor for the the projects course now that's in the second semester um the the video that you just saw was for the projects course uh two years ago and this is a piece from the course uh this past year so whereas the previous project was with the royal botanic garden of edinburgh this past year we worked with devon projects which is a local arts organization based in huntley um, in, Aberdeen, in Aberdeenshire. Um, Huntley is a, is a smaller town north of Aberdeen, and um, it's not necessarily a town that you would expect to have a, um, a, a, a let's say, experimental art venue. Um, they, the, the work that they've done there is quite grassroots, and they've really built up a following for the type of work that they do over the years. 
And what they do is, is a type of art called socially engaged art. So around the 1990s, uh, art historians and art theorists start to talk about the social turn in art. And this turn was from creating objects and visual uh, material, visual content, to the shift from that to projects that, um, that dealt with social relations and human interactions. Um, and so it's, it's not the type of art, it's not the type of hierarchical art that you're used to, where an artist will produce something and present it to you and put it on a pedestal and say, here it is. It's a kind of art that is produced through collaboration, through communication, through um, sustained working together. And that is the type of art that Devron Projects is involved in. And so it means that whenever they have an event, it, it's entirely dependent on what, you know, who shows up and what they do and what they produce. And they produce the artwork or the project together. So everyone is considered equal in that art making process. Of course, with the caveat that it is the art center that is, you know, taking the first step and 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 setting this uh, setting this forth. Um, so our students went out to Devon Projects and they they learned about the different um, artworks that they had been involved with. I mean, Devon and Huntley are a really interesting place in Aberdeenshire in general because uh, what they say is that the town is the venue of Devon Project. So it's not necessarily about their one space that, that they use, but their art collection is a series of public uh, works and land art type works that are found dotted around the city. And if you go there, you can get, you'll get a map of the collection and you can walk around the city. It's, it's quite compact, so you can do it in a day and see this collection by also engaging with the town instead of just in a museum context. So the students go out to Devon and they work with the uh, the, the people who, who, who work for Devon and they work with their archive. They have an archive of all the projects that they've um, that they've been engaged with. And then the students set out to create their own uh, portfolio and project. So the project that the students did this year with Devon was that they ran a Friday lunch session where they talked about their responses to Devon projects. And then they want, went off and did their own portfolio. And this is one portfolio by one of our Emlet students, Stephanie Benzies. Um, and she is from uh, Huntley or near Huntley. And so she was really interested in the way that Huntley and Devron really connects with the land and the landscape. And so she created a portfolio that explored her relationship with the land. And you can see here, she's created a very personal portfolio where she has um, included these photographs of her and her father when she was younger and her father gardening. Um, they had built this house and, and for them, the garden was always this central place where they would grow their own vegetables and um, you know that was that was part of uh, the sustaining of the family and so in this particular page of her journal she's comparing that with other uh, you know art historical images Millet's uh, the gleaners that that involve this connection and 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 comment on the land um, and she explored this connection her personal connection with the land um, through a series of images and poems and, um, and uh, different essays. And she also interviewed her father and she interviewed um, uh, the, the people who work at Devron to talk about their relationship with the land and the landscape. Um, so that, that's just one example of what a portfolio could be. It could also be an, a video essay, a photographic essay, um, it could be a socially engaged project. Um, so there are a lot of different ideas, a lot of opportunities, and it's really about finding the type of project that suits you best. You know, how would you best express your connection with what what goes on at Devron at um, in Huntley? So just to to sum up, um, this you know we 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 really believe strongly in this program that um, we. 
with the what, the work that we've seen produced over the past several years, um, this hands-on practical approach to film and visual culture really um, provides unique opportunities for our students, and they really rise to the challenge to to be able to express themselves in different creative ways. Um, you will have the opportunity to work in the industry for, for a course credit. And then with all the work that you do in the program, built into the program um, is an opportunity to reflect on and assess your own progress with guidance and support from uh, ourselves, the, your, your lecturers uh, and, and tutors. The reason this is important is, is that self-reflection is one of the key components of, um, of self-development. And you know, you will all, always be in a situation like in a university setting where you're creating projects and getting feedback. A lot of times you're just creating projects and not getting feedback. And so it's important for you, you to be able to assess your own work and, and almost provide yourself with feedback. And so we teach you how to do that. We teach you how to reflect on and analyze as objectively as possible your own work, which is, a, is an essential critical tool for, um, for any, any uh, employment uh, position that you might have. So if you wanna read a little bit more about the types of things we do as a department, you can look at our blog, uh, our Visual Culture Aberdeen WordPress blog, the URL is down there on the screen. And then if you want to look into more about the program, if you go to our the university website slash study, and then just select postgraduate programs and the MLIT in Film, Visual Culture and Arts Management, you'll find us and you'll see uh, basically a summary of what I've told you here. So um, if you have any questions, you know, you can always get in touch. Um, and uh, I, I hope that this has given you a little bit of flavor for what you might expect if you study here. And I think you will really enjoy it if you do decide to come uh, here and study with us. So thank you for listening.